Quarks. Welcome back. Now today I will start to change the trim pots on the equalizers with the first modules. As you maybe remember from my initial restoration, these pots had issues due to the trim pots installed. They had contact problems and now after a while of using them, first I kind of cleaned the contacts. I might change them. On the other hand, while we talk about it, I mean, I have a hundred trim pots right here, right now. But I also have this. So yeah, maybe before I just blindly go and change everything, I'll have a look at it and maybe try to clean it with this. Might be better, no? I mean, in the end, this is just literally the same pot. Okay, so these actually feel a bit scratchy when you turn them. And here it doesn't go smooth all the way. So with these two, I tried to add some of the deoxid. And now if, the, if I turn them, they go a lot smoother without any crackling resistance that I can feel. So maybe before I go at it and exchange everything, I will take this bucket and apply the deoxid to the resonance. And as you can see here, I marked some of the equalizers that had problems with the resonance here. And when I mix on this board, I have this bucket for drums, so it gets used all the time. So uh, yeah, let me just clean all the trim pots with the deoxid, set them back in, tune them again and uh, see how that works. Okay, so let me show you the power supply before I build it back together. Like I said in the main series, big transformer. And I upgraded it. So you can see here, new big capacitors in the main audio supply to stabilize things a bit more. These are awesome. Same over here. Two other very nice improvements I did was this was humming quite a bit. And uh, knowing from earlier builds, this can happen when the transformer is mounted a bit loose as it swings a bit, especially big ones. And uh, so I fastened these screws and if I turn it on now, it's dead quiet. Amazing. Super, super cool. Another thing I would like to show you is before I did not have all of the LEDs glowing and look at it now. I fixed a few contacts that were loose or broken off during transport or whatever. And now if I turn on the power supply, everything is working, which is super cool and as it should be, right? Now let me put this back together. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. And uh, yeah, I calculated all of these channels already. I will calculate the equalizers in these as well. And then later I will look forward to cosmetically update this console to probably its final form. There's two more things I would like to do. One is getting fader plates, yes. And I've seen some nice one made by IDT with uh, blue plates and then graved in markings, which do not go off, which I like very much. And then also I've seen ADT consoles that had plexi glass in front of the 
meter bridge and I thought this was so, so cool. I want to have it for this console as well. And then finally, in the center section, I changed this one, this plate, right? I want to get a fitting cut cap at some point. But also, these two are looking fine. These two, there are some things, you know, like with the elliptic equalizer, the E missing. There's a scratch here, you know. This is very dirty. So I probably ask ADT. This is my dream to get these two new as well. And then this console is perfect for me. Now I fixed the one or two other faults when checking the inputs here. I've been knowing this board so, so well. And uh, yeah, I love it. And also fixing this is a breeze for me now. And I keep you updated with the updates. Have a great time and bye. And that is all equalizers tuned here. What a beautiful array. We got them all calibrated, the trim pots checked. This should all work and sound amazing now. I found three knobs, they need checking. Otherwise the board works. Totally fine, really, really cool. Um, that's it from my side for the updates for now. I might have plans for the future, which are more like cosmetical changes. Technically, I consider this now working a 101%. Also, if I look at the curves now, it looks really, really good. And yeah, like I said, if I should do updates, they will be cosmetically. I've seen very cool fader plates in black. I know the update costs 600 euros for all of them, but I might do it at some point. Then yeah, this plate here, I want to switch. And then this probably as well, because they're in the center. Very important for me, but it's luxury, right? And then, maybe get a dark plexi front to it, which I've seen on other desk that I quite liked. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. And I will continue working with this board, mixing with it, testing it. And uh, yeah. Okay, here we are. Finally, I have all the parts ready for the wagon for this rack that goes with the ADT console. Now I had all the pieces of wood cut to size in the construction store. I have all the necessary work from Tuman which is these ones that I cut and uh, all the screws and whatnot, as well as the reels, which I absolutely love. I have these on another wagon in the studio as well, these blue wheels. They look cool, they run very light. The stop thing here is amazing. And uh, if I understand it correctly, they're rated for 140 kilos per wheel which is just crazy. And uh, yeah, you can also see, I already prepared all the dubits. So I can put this together. Now my goal is, and you can see, 
Ah, oh, that's close to perfect in terms of height. My goal is to just transfer all these devices, including the cabling, onto here without having to uncable everything and then uh, put it all together. And I think I'll have the console come out a bit to have better access. Well, I'll play around with this and see how it goes. Stay tuned. <laughs> there it is wow what an epic fail but then again we managed it in the end despite the whole tower falling off my plan of just sliding it over did not work out but in the end we did it yeah this looks so much cleaner than what I had before all the cabling is now Nicely stored in this little container. And uh, yeah, I screw it up and then we fire it up for a test. What you think? Okay, so. The final question, what did the ADT mixing desk cost me in total with all parts and things I had to pay for the restoration? Now, the desk itself came in at 2000 euro. Then I had to pay a total of 150 euros for the transport, including a small thank you to a person Help me think so much, Tim. Then the deoxid to clean all the switches and duplicate the faders came in at 50 euros. Now, original spare parts from ADT cost me 382 euros and 25 cents. The repair of the master section from the ADT tech came in at 269 euros. The automation was quite a deal. I got that for 376 euros and 50 cent. And then finally, I didn't go over every single invoice I had from Konrad, from Reichelt, from eBay to get parts. But uh, from my tax report, I calculated an estimate of at least 500 euros for op amps, the bipolar capacitors, all kinds of wiring, stuff like that. So that's 500 euros for parts. Leading to a total cost of 3,727 euros and 75 cents. This is a bit less than I expected or had in my head. I calculated roughly 5,000 euros. But maybe the number won't stay at that because if I'm going to be buying blank plates, fader plates, like the master section plates, fader plates, and build a plexi, I might reach the 5,000 because another fader plates alone is 600 and then 120 per master section plate. So 
with a flex team should be at around 4,700 if I do all the premium upgrades. Um, I did not calculate all of the wiring in, that would be a little more expensive. I built an interface system that is not included in here, which is another 1,500 euros to make a complete system. And then, of course, this is materials only. My estimates in 200 working hours. Well, that's so rough. I, I tried to calculate how many days a week, with what time I worked over what period. But uh, yeah, the 200 working hours times 50 euros that I charge in my workshop right now for the hour, which is a bit reduced as I'm just starting with uh, technical work and it's not really a business yet. But that would come down to the cost of around 15,000 euros if you were to buy this console. And some of you watching this series already know, yes, this console is up for sale right now. It does not fit my studio. Maybe I'll add in a short video of the stairs which are the entry to my studio, so the desk does not fit. I'm using this desk at my home right now to mix my own music. It works like a charm. I use it regularly and it's great fun to use, to play, as you might say, but uh, it can't stay in my bedroom forever, so I'm giving it away for somebody to buy it. And uh, yeah, I keep you updated about that. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Feel free to give me the all buttons in or like and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.